Let's take a look at a monostable multivibrator. Now, monostable, monostable means uh, one stable state, and uh, it put, produces a, a single output pulse. We call that a one shot. A stable doesn't have a stable state, and we use that as oscillators. And a bistable has two stable states, and we use those for flip flop. Now, we'll take a look at a couple one shots here. I made up two of them one with an OR gate, a 74LSO2, and one with an AND gate a uh, CD4011. When you depress this button here, it uh, puts out a one pulse, a one single pulse out here, and at this time here is dependent on this RC time constant over here. Now on this one here, I used, uh, when you tie them like this, it's like a, it's an inverter, like a knot gate. So in order to get the uh, a positive pulse out here, I used, uh, I used all four of those. You can do it with two, and then you'll have this will be live, hot, uh, high, and then it's going to go low for the amount of time that you have, depending on the RC time constant, and then it'll go back high again. But I wanted a positive pulse on both of these, so I, I did it like this. So this time, to calculate the time it takes for this pulse, you use this formula here. T is equal to 0 0.693 times your RC. So in this case, I'm using a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and a 47K ohm resistor. And if I multiply those together, and multiply it by 0.693, it comes out to 3.5 uh, milliseconds here. So, you know, where does this number come from? Well, we know that the capacitor charging curve is an exponential curve, and it's the same curve that you would use to uh, calculate compound interest. And Euler came up with his number to do that, and it's uh, 2.71828. It's uh, an irrational number, goes on forever like pi. And, you know, we use that number all the time with our capacitors. If you take the reciprocal of that number and you subtract it from 1, you get uh, 0 0.632, and that's 63%. Uh, so it, the time it takes to charge a capacitor to 63% of the supply voltage. So if you multiply R and C together, that's the time it takes to charge a capacitor to 63.2%, okay? Now, this thing doesn't work on the 63% or anything, so we can forget about that. But it does work at two-thirds, uh, you know, from stable state to unstable state, from between two-thirds and one-third of the supply voltage. So, if we take the natural log of two-thirds minus the natural log of one-third. Now, the natural log is just log to the base E, that same number, okay? That gives us our, our 0.693, that's where that comes from, okay? And if we take the reciprocal of E, and we take that to the power of 0.693, that gives us 0.5, okay? And that's the same, now, the difference between two-thirds and one-third is, is, you know, 0.5, okay? Half of that. So, that's where that number comes from, and this E is, is uh, makes everything easier to work, because if you have, on a curve, if you take a point on a curve and you give it a value of e to the x, then the gradient of that point is going to be e to the x, and the area underneath that curve is going to be e to the x. So that just makes it easier. But we don't have to worry about that. We're just going to look at this uh, this number right here. That's all we have to do. So I I put a unit together here, and we'll see if it we'll see if it works here. So this one happens to be the uh, the NOR gate. I got to turn the power on. Got five volts on it, and there we go. All right, the breadboards, everything gets loose in there. There we go. So press it once, you get one pulse out of it here. And this one here is the uh, uh, NAND gate here. Let's see if this one works. There we go. So I get I get one pulse out of it. You have to leave it up long enough for the capacitor to discharge all the way. So there it is there, one pulse out of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the scope and see what this actual uh, pulse looks like on the scope there. So uh, 
we'll go do that right now. Thank you. Here's the uh, pulse on the scope. It looks good. Nice sharp rising edge. Very little overshoot. And it looks good. I'll put a couple cursors on there. And there we go. And it says that it's uh, uh, 2.98 uh, milliseconds. Now I calculated it to be uh, 3.5, but the capacitors are at, uh, you know, 10% and the resistor is 5. So uh, we're in the ballpark. And uh, thank you.